all right guys welcome back to the channel if you're new my name is bobby guys i am back in germany guten tag schönen guten tag welt aus deutschland yes i haven't been here in five years and now i'm walking around in this beautiful german forest it is a surreal experience if you haven't been here for such a long time anyways guys this video is not about germany this video is not about deutschland this video is about Vegana, or in other words, Richard, vegan gains. Vegana stains, vegana paints, whatever you might want to call it. Richard did a video about me and it took him four hours, right, to rant about me. Of course, I don't have the time to watch it. Guys, let's be honest, who in his right mind has four hours to sit down and listen to Richard? Me personally, nope, not so much. I am busy traveling the world. Yesterday in France, today in Germany, three days ago on a dairy farm. I'm in field researching what is truly going on in food production. Meanwhile, the vegans like to sit in front of their computers and cite studies. All theory, no real life experience. Anyways, I tuned in and I watched the first five minutes. And all I want to respond to in this video is the conversation via messenger that me and Vegana had. Richard just shows you one part of the conversation where he challenges me to a debate. Sure, let me browse through and show you guys what is truly going on here. I told him that it takes me at least two weeks because I have to leave Thailand and I have to go to Europe. So he says, any time this week I'm free for a debate. I don't really care what channel hosts the debate. Either way, I'm going to stream it on my channel. Fair enough. He continues and says, I'm not dealing with Bart K though. He has doxxed multiple people now, including Dr. Ricky and Michelle Lowe and possibly Goji Man. I don't need him or his retarded followers finding out where I live and swatting me, which has already happened twice. Okay, so first and foremost, if you don't want to be swatted by anybody, why do you talk shit on camera? Why do you talk shit and you can't back it up? You like to make all of those claims. Let's have an MMA match. And whatnot. If you are such a tough guy, why can't you back it up? If you make claims on the internet, you have to back it up. It's that simple. So why are you scared to talk to Bartke? I mean, needless to say, it is not about him ambushing you or sending fans to you. It is because you are scared to talk to somebody that actually has the scientific backup. It's that simple. You like to quote studies, but when it comes down to a real discussion with a scientist, you are pussying out. It's that simple, man. You want to talk to people that can't battle you in listing studies. That is all you're good at. You have no real life experience. Anyways, let me go through the messages. I told him, absolutely, the internet is pretty solid. Tomorrow I have John Venus on. I'll get back to you when I have the time. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to it, Vigana. He answers, so it has been a few days and you still haven't given me an answer. Weird how you set up a debate with John Venus and have had other live streams, but you can't find time, <laughs> you can't find some time to set up a debate with me. Okay, so as you just saw, I told him I'm talking to John Venus first, right? And then when I have the time, I get back to you. When I have the time, I get back to you. He continues, if you're too afraid of debating me because you know you lose, then just tell me you're not interested in debating. Drew Morgan also admitted that he doesn't want to debate me because he knows he would lose. But I guess you don't have enough honesty to admit it. So first and foremost, me and Drew, good friends. Drew never talked to you in person. Drew never talked to you, so what the fuck are you talking about? I respond with, what the fuck, dude? You act like I went on a date with John Venus instead of you. I told you, I get back to you when I have the time. And this is why I call him Vegana. Because guys, what in the shit is going on? If I tell you, I will get back to you when I have the time. Why do you keep on pushing and insisting? You are heartbroken, Vegana. You are heartbroken, Ricarda. You are heartbroken because people don't give a shit about you. Because your channel is declining constantly. Because you're losing subscribers and nobody really cares about you. You are heartbroken because I went on a date with John Venus instead of you. Because I had a friendly debate 
with John Venus. You're pissing your pants because you're lacking social skills, because you have no real life experience, because you cannot relate to people, because you fucking hate humans, because you hate babies. You are the anti-natalist scum, the manifestation of the issue that we are having here. Self-sterilized anti-natalist. Do you really think that I have an interest in chatting with you over a good guy such as John Venus? Of course I rather chat with him. I told you already, it is not about winning a debate for me. I am for truth. But you will discard that as anecdotal evidence because you trust a Dr. Gregor with the arm size less than a nine-year-old girl over your own experience. Clearly, veganism is failing you. Nevertheless, let me keep on going. So, Vegana responds, weird how when you finally have time, instead of setting up the debate between us, you just do a bunch of other random live streams. Like I said, if you don't want to debate, just say so. Man, you're eating too much soy, bro. Honestly, you're eating too much phytoestrogens. You are behaving like a bitch. Who in his right mind writes another man like this? I told you, I will get back to you. I told you, I will talk to you when I have the time. I'm busy traveling the world and doing exciting shit. You are sitting there in front of your screen and begging for attention. You're hoping Bobby will talk to you. You're hoping you can connect to Bobby. And let's be honest here, man. I actually liked you back in the day. And you blew the chance. We could have been friends, but you've been too pushy. So, hence I respond, you sound like my jealous ex-girlfriend. As I said, when I have the time for your debate, I let you know. If you can't wait, that is cool too. That is our exchange and that is what Richard doesn't want you to see. After that, obviously, he didn't respond anymore. After that, he did a four-hour, Jesus Christ, a four-hour live stream about me and shared his obsession with his viewers. It is absolutely pathetic and saddening to see. Richard, you are everything what is wrong with our society. You are the manifestation of what is evil in our society. You are the epitome of the soy boy cuck. That is you, a person who sterilizes himself, calls out his subscribers to disconnect from their families, hates babies, wants to kill babies, hates everything what is human. A person that wants to laser off his beard. What the fuck is going on? A person that values scientific evidence over himself. A person with no real life experience. A person that is sitting in front of his computer depressed, sad, not experiencing. Life will tell me what is right and what is wrong. Will be jealous of me. Of course you will be. A person that wanted to be my girlfriend so bad and failed. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Now I have to move on. I have to get back to my girlfriend, to my family members, actually experience life, have fun, connect with people and with animals, right? See what is truly possible outside in nature, actually have fun in life. <sighs> It's very, very sad, man. Anyways, Richard, I wish you all the best. Mwah.